Welcome to Fireside Storytime. Make yourself comfy, then we can start. Today's book is called Milo and Cat Right Before Sleep and is written by Milo Charlton. It was right before sleep, it was already night, but for Milo and Cat, something wasn't quite right. They just couldn't sleep. They'd tried this and tried that. What did we miss? wondered Milo and Cat. We scrubbed and we brushed and we snuggled in bed with books about planets and stars overhead. We tried counting sheep and we counted the stars. We even tried counting the distance to Mars. Nothing has worked, said Milo with a sigh. I can't get to sleep and I wish I knew why. We'll be sleeping in no time without any doubt. Trust my whiskers, said Cat. We will figure it out. They leapt to the bookshelf where Milo raised Cat, who took out the book that his whiskers led up. This should have some clues, so let's have a look. There's always advice in the Noah's All book. He flipped through the pages and there he could spy some useful ideas for sleep he could try. We should check them all out. We've tried the first three, but with Cat on the book it was hard to see. The book said to cuddle a favourite toy. I'll take Rocket and Space Cat, said Milo with joy. But Cat fell asleep. He was down just like that. It should work for a boy if it worked for a cat. He put on some socks, all the socks he could find. They were both draped in socks. Even Cat didn't mind. He took out his instruments and danced all around. Cat covered his ears from the crazy loud sound. With a toot and a bang and a jingle and strum, he played the harp and the flute and the bell and the drum. When the madness was done, he was back at square one. No sleep was in sight, but at least it was fun. That didn't work either, he said with a sigh. I'm still not that sleepy. I wish I knew why. You'll be sleeping in no time without any doubt. Trust my whiskers, yawned Cat. We will figure it out. You should try some more tips. There are still quite a few. These tips work for me. They should work for you too. He warmed up some milk and he filled a big cup and he drank. And he drank, and he drank it all up. With his tummy now full, Milo asked his best friend, what's the best place to sleep in the end? A box, mumbled Cat, without any doubt. Milo squeezed himself in, but then he couldn't get out. I'll build up my bed to be warmest of all. His fort made of pillows was sturdy and tall. A few moments after his work was complete, a spark of thought made him jump to his feet. His marvellous fort tumbled down to the ground. There were pillows and cushions and toys all around. He gathered his book, his warm milk and some socks, his rocket toys and the flute that he piled in a box. He added a pillow, his harp and said, done. My amazing idea is equal to none. Cat, come with me. I was wondering whether... I'm supposed to try all the ideas together. After all the fuss, he was back at square one. No sleep was in sight, but at least it was fun. That didn't work either, he said with a sigh. I'm still not that sleepy. I wish I knew why. You'll be sleeping in no time without any doubt. Trust my whiskers, said Cat. We will figure it out. Cat's whiskers were bending to let them both know one small thing was written below the last row. They flipped the page over and Milo now read, Think of your happy place snuggled in bed. Let's do this, said Milo. The happiest place would be us in a rocket. We're whizzing through space. 
Mission control, engines are ready. Prepare for liftoff, rocket is steady. Cat, start the countdown. Ignition check done. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Cat pulled the lamp cord. It was dark, just like that. While sleep fell on Milo, a question struck Cat. Before we tried doing these things to sleep tight, maybe we needed to switch off the light. That was a fun story, wasn't it? About Milo and Cat trying to get to sleep. Trying all sorts of very sensible things, but forgetting the one thing that they always do to go to sleep. Turning off the light. So we're using a picture from the book of Milo and Cat and their box of goodies that they gathered together. And we're going to do a jigsaw puzzle with it. So here's the picture. And we've got 12 pieces today. And you know what I'm going to say? We're going to start with a corner piece. Because we use the corner pieces to help us make the jigsaw, don't we? So first one top left there we are and then I think we're going to go bottom left there we are so two more to find corner piece has got two straight edges remember so that's for the top right and another one for the bottom right Now we need to join the edges together, so we're looking for pieces with straight edges. So, one for the left hand side. And what's next? Oh, one for the right hand side to join up that straight line edge. And then, oh, that's for the top. There we are. So another one for the top. We'll make that wide. There we are. Now, two pieces for the bottom. Does that one? Oh, I don't know where it goes then. Yeah, move it across, that's better. So that was one more for the bottom. There we are. Oh, it's got a hand. That must be Milo's hand holding the box. That's right. And then two more pieces. Where's that one? Are we going to move it? Oh, right across, that's it. And then one more to give us Milo's voice. Now we've got some pictures from the story and we're going to play the pairs game. Behind those eight cactus pictures there are four pictures from the book and we're going to see if we can match them up. So we'll start off by lifting off. There we are. Here's Milo with some maracas. Oh, and there's the box of toys, so they don't match, do they? So we'll cover them back up again. Now, ah, now there's the box of toys. So do you remember where we just saw the other one? Which was one of the two that we opened first. Do you remember which one it was? Yeah, good. So we've got a pair, so we can leave those open now. So we'll need another cactus picture. Now. That's Milo with the xylophone. So we haven't seen that yet. So we'll have to need another cactus and see what we find. Oh, there he is with a, a bell and a tambourine. So they don't match, do they? So we'll put 
other than that cup? Let's see what else we can find. Right, ah, oh, no, that's him with the xylophone. Now we've seen him with that already. Do you remember where he was? I think he was in the bottom room, was he? Let's move another cactus card and see what we can find. No, that's the tambourine and the bell. We've seen that one before as well. Now we've got to start remembering where we've seen these pictures. Okay, I'll cover them up again. So the bell and the tambourine. Now, can you remember where that was? No, that's two maracas, isn't it? There, that's the bell and the tambourine. So those two match now. So we can leave those open. So we've got Mario and the xylophone. Now, do you remember where the other one is? Yes, up the top, that's right. So we'll leave them open. So that must mean that the last two match. So what were they? Well, they were both the maracas. And there. We found them all. That was quite hard to remember, wasn't it? But we did it in the end. Well done. If you enjoyed making the jigsaw puzzle, I made it using an app. It's called Puzzle Maker for Kids, and I've put the link in the description box. We keep chickens in our garden. If you'd like to see what they get up to, you can go over to our other channel, Cluffy and the Crew, and uh, see their adventures. And I'll put the link to that in the description box as well. So I hope you enjoyed the story and the puzzles. And hopefully we'll see you again.